I'm back at the Australian Horticultural Trials Week looking for some of these amazing new and interesting plants that are coming your way pretty soon. And I'm taking you into one of the largest plant propagation nurseries in Australia. It's an absolute stunner called JD Propagation. Interestingly enough, owned by Jen and Dan. Now you can't buy your plants off JD, but you will be buying them through your favourite garden centre as this company supplies the tube stock for growers across Australia. Their philosophy is to listen, understand and deliver a quality product whilst providing an exceedingly high level of service. They believe that they are only as good as the last plant that they've sent out and they continue to work on improving their structure and processes to maintain a high level of consistency. And that's why they attain the right to produce over 400 different varieties of the superior genetics that come from Doom and Orange. And you can see them all on display here. They're absolutely spectacular, including this one here. This is the Anthurium, but these are no ordinary Anthuriums. The superior genetics of the plants selected by Doom and Orange and grown across the globe by the world's leading nurseries is making gardening success so much easier for people wanting more plants around their home. Matt Curtis from Doom and Orange knows all about them. Doom and Orange has got its, I suppose, roots ancestry in Holland. And these beautiful plants have got a link to the royal family, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the, the uh, three varieties, main varieties you have, the Princess Amalia Elegance, mm -hmm. The Princess Alexia Lua and the other variety we don't have her at the moment. The white one here is yep. just stunning. Yeah, white winner that one is. Clean, crisp, white. Customers love that for a point of difference. Obviously they know the red but some people like some other colours. Yep. Now the reds, there are a few different forms you've got. Yeah, there's heaps of different reds. We obviously cater different climates for around the world where they're produced mm -hmm. but we've obviously got the uh, Success Red here which is very popular. This is an improved version of it. Success Pink down there as well so yeah, stunning pink variety, great around Mother's Day and so yeah. forth, does exceptionally well. What should people do when they get home with these plants? Yeah, so put them in a spot that gets morning light, water sort of once or twice a week, a heavy water, and let them dry out between watering. And feeding, I'd imagine, controlled release fertilizer? Yeah, controlled release fertilizer works really well. You could do a liquid option as well. Yeah, so, okay, yeah. terrific. 